Um, no, I just was really proud um, to finish up uh, with a win here in Mackey, especially for our seniors, the guys that have been through so much in our program and sacrificed so much. Um, it was a wild, wild game. I, I, there was a lot of big plays. Um, really proud of uh, how we responded uh, and made a lot of big plays. You know, Carson had a couple miscues, which is unlike him. He just missed some throws. And uh, we actually left a lot of big plays on the field. Um, Torrey Horton, I was so proud of him uh, as a freshman. You know, this he's from Fresno, and to play so well against this Fresno team was just outstanding. I mean, he was a big-time finisher tonight and, and just has that ability to go down the field and go deep. You know, I thought Romeo – really bounced back and did a lot of things. We moved him around a lot. We put him on the left. We put him in the slot. We put him outside. And, um, you know, I think there's some things we can grow with with that. You know, if people are double covering him outside, we can move him around and really take advantage of him. And gives he gives us a different look when he's in there, you know. And so, and I thought our defense responded, especially in the second half. You know, we – we uh, they drove the ball on us some in the first half, uh, but I thought in the second half we settled down, made some adjustments, and and played better defense. And so, really proud of our team. You know, to win here in Mackey uh, was big, and um, to win all our games here this season in Mackey was big, and um, and it sets up a chance for us to play next Friday and have a chance to advance to the championship game so we're really excited about that opportunity and and really looking forward to it Jay, what was the mood like amongst the guys just being a part of a game that was that kind of wild and busy and, 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 <laughs> and like exhausted but super excited at the same time yeah i think everybody's gonna get a good night's sleep tonight for sure um but it was we knew it was going to be a wild game. I mean, Fresno has a lot, has a lot of playmakers. Uh, they got a good little operator at quarterback, and they're going to th- spread the ball around and make you make you play you know, play the whole field defensively. And and we felt like you know we we needed to open things up and really spread the field and get all our playmakers involved. And so we figured it was going to be a wild game. And, uh, gosh, I think when we watch the film, we're going to see how many opportunities we could have made. Um, you know, we had Romeo running down, streaking down the middle of the field a few times and Cole Turner, and, you know, we just missed him. You know, Romeo had a, had his hands on a couple balls that he typically catches and um, just couldn't come up with them. But, um, you know, we just got to keep – taking our shots with him because he's going to make most of those plays most of the time. But, um, you know, to have, you know, we had, we almost had three receivers, I guess, uh, Romeo, uh, almost had a hundred yards and Torrey had, had 148, three touchdowns. What a day. Cole Turner had two touchdowns. So it's just good to get those guys rolling. I just think it's a great job. I mean, uh, we really loved him as a player. You know, he had an older brother that played corner at Boise. He had a sister that's a college athlete. It's a real athletic family. And, you know, I guess they didn't think he was fast enough. And so he looked plenty, plenty fast tonight on, on those deep balls. And uh, we just love him. I think he's going to be a fabulous player here. He reminds me so much of Romeo when Romeo was a freshman. And uh, he just follows Romeo around and tries to learn everything he can from him. So I love the kid. I think he's going to be a great player. And he certainly was special tonight. Uh, talk about the impact of getting Dom Peterson back in there on the defensive line. It seemed like when he got in there in that second half, there was that play on fourth down where he basically went through two different offensive linemen. and he. Talk about what he did. Adam is just such a, a relentless player with such a huge heart. And, uh, 
you know, early in the week, I just I, I thought it was a long shot that he could even play. And um, but as we got closer to the game, I just knew there's no way you're going to keep him off the field. He's just so prideful. And, uh, you know, he was in the offensive huddle, encouraging our guys. He's in the defensive huddle. He just refused to, to lose his game. And and uh, and that's the type of leadership that he's given us. And that's why he's one of the best defensive players in this league. And, you know, in, in games like this, it's really – it's your best players that have to step up and perform. And Dom, Dom certainly did that tonight. What does it mean to you knowing that you basically now go into a situation – you know, that you get to have a chance to play for a Mountain West championship. That has to mean a lot to you in this football team. You know, it's just been a lot of hard work and, and uh, a lot of sacrifice by everybody. Um, and we've told our players if they if they would just uh, would do the little things that we ask them to do and stay diligent with those things, that they would be in this position. And, and uh, you know, I actually feel like we – we still can play so much better as a team. Uh, and that'll be our challenge next week. You know, I San Jose has done a fabulous job this year. They're, they're scoring points and they're playing really good defense. And, um, and so we're, we're going to have a hell of a challenge uh, next Friday night. We're looking forward to it. Uh, but, you know, if, it, I told our players that if, if anybody would have gave you one game to win and, and, uh, and to get in a championship, you take it every year. So we're looking for, forward to that challenge and it should be a great game next Friday night. Coach, it seemed like the Nevada group really screwed up, especially it seems like your team needed an impact at all three phases of the game, offense, defense, and even special teams. Were you impressed by your team's overall complete effort tonight? Yeah, I thought it was a complete effort. I thought you know, I uh, thought our defense responded when it needed to. Uh, I thought our offense came up with some big plays in the second half that we needed to. And and we responded on special teams. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a complete – it was a complete team effort. Coach, you mentioned that you guys have been I mean, I thought he played good tonight. I mean, he had a couple turnovers, but I thought he played really well, threw for 354 yards and five touchdowns. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, uh, he had a couple turnovers, missed a couple uh, throws, was just a little bit late on him. But no, I thought he had a I thought he had a pretty special night, career high touchdown. So, um, but he's done a great job all year. He really hasn't had a poor game, um, and uh, just continues to lead. You know, he was mad. He's standing next to me at the end of the game. He said we could have threw for 600 yards a night if I would have been sharper. And and uh, that's that's his attitude. He always wants to play better. And um, you know, we're just going to help help him continue to improve and and uh, and that's what makes him a good player is his competitiveness so you know we'll look at the film and we'll learn from it and and try to help him be better next week you know you mentioned in previous post game press conferences where penalties can really keep up on the team as a whole and it seems like the Nevada did a really good job of at least taking control in that aspect were you impressed with just how more disciplined yeah, we, we, we were better, and, and it has been. It's been an unusual year with the, with the penalties, and it's been really frustrating. Uh, but I, I, was, I was pleased with our discipline tonight. You know, you never want to have any penalties, um, but you really want to limit the foolish penalties uh, as best you can. And... And that's going to continue to be something that we really stress with our guys, that we, we have to do a great job of that. Um, and uh, it will continue to be important in all these games that are so close and that are important games. And so um, we, we made some improvement tonight in that, and we've got to, we've got to continue that.
questions for uh, Tori? Tori, how did it feel to have a game like that, especially against Fresno? I, I imagine that was really something that was on your mind, I mean, being from Fresno and, and getting to play the Bulldogs like that. Oh yeah, it felt great. Uh, I actually had just I had this planned out the day I committed because of uh, them uh, not me receiving an offer from them. So this day was actually planned out. So just me going out there performing and uh, showing them what I what I could do, it, it felt great. I mean, that has to give you a chip on your shoulder. Jay said, you know, they they said that you weren't fast enough. You know, to, to get an offer from Fresno State, I mean, that has to kind of stick with you. Oh, yeah, it, it for sure did. Uh, it took a lot of off-season work. Uh, it just motivated me even more. So as I went out there and performed, I just made sure I, I showed them the speed that I have, and that's what happened today. Coach talked about you and, and, and kind of following around Romeo and being able to learn from him. I mean, what, what have you been able to learn from, from being able to play with somebody like Romeo? Oh, I learned a lot. Uh, he's a hardworking player, so um, everything I see him do, it, it just feels great. Um, every time we take rest at practice, I ask him questions that I don't know. It's just like an uh, uh, older brother I like to, to look up to because he's been in there uh, for a minute. So just me following behind him, I learned a lot of things. Just talk about how crazy that football game was, man. I mean, it was it was busy and for us sitting up here. I can't imagine what it was like being on the field. Oh yeah, it, it was it was a lot. Um, it was very intense. Uh, just just the plays that we made and the plays that happened on the, uh, throughout the whole game. It was nerve wracking at first, but uh, as we stepped up, it just like it just got a tense where we stepped up and we just we just uh, kept it going. How fun is it just to be out there in a game like that, playing college football, playing against a team from your hometown? I mean, I, I just imagine that's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, I dreamed about this, uh, just actually being blessed to play college football and actually going against my hometown with everybody cheering me back at home. It feels great to uh, actually play against them and, and uh, contribute to the team for the win that we had today. So it feels great. Folks mentioned a bunch of big plays offensively, and you were a part of a season-long 85-yard touchdown pass from Strong. Just to describe that play, how it broke down, and what was the feeling like running down the sidelines? Uh, it was it was uh it was actually kind of great because uh, I actually switched the call, so it was like. Once that once that play happened, I knew it was uh it was a it was a great call that we switched it up to, and it was a great ball by Carson Strong and it allowed me to uh, get into open field. So once I got on the sideline, it was uh it was a lot of excitement. That being a long uh, a long yard touchdown, so just just that play right there itself was great. It was amazing. The offense as a whole has just been a high point throughout this season, and you've had your points and you've had your high points throughout this road year as well. You really think you're becoming a part of this offense and really growing with the team as a whole since it's such a young team as a center offensively? Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, we all coming together. Uh, it take a lot of uh, time and work, uh, getting to know the, the timing and stuff, or building a relationship with the quarterback or with the line. So just us practicing and the off season that we had, it just feels great that like we're coming into a team. It feels like one big family as we play. Oh, it, it's intense. Uh, we had a a huge uh, a huge talk about uh, next week's game because we got to start focusing about next week and what the week that's coming up. So we got a uh, a lot of things to clean up. Uh, the penalties that we had, it's just that uh, just the time and work that we got to put in to clean everything up, get the errors out. It was crazy to say the least. Uh, I mean, I'm happy that we got the win and everything, but that had to have been the most frustrating football game I've ever been a part of in my whole life. Just the mistakes, just the the plays that we left on the field is very frustrating, but, you know, at the end of the day, we got the dub, so. Tell people about Corey Horton. I mean, we got to see his skill set tonight, but give us kind of a glimpse of, of what that guy's all about. Yeah, he's a kid out of Fresno that – didn't get an offer from Fresno and he was really hungry to come out and show out this game and the kid is he's unbelievable I mean he just turned 18 he he's been 17 years old basically this whole season doing what he's been doing which is crazy to me um, and he's just a really good kid he works hard he runs his routes hard every single day at practice and you know he's just a guy that you can count on 
How much more dynamic does that make your offense knowing, you, you know, you, we've seen Romeo, we've seen Cole, you know, we've seen Tory a little bit this year, but to have him that much of a weapon like that. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely makes our offense more versatile. Like, you can't just key on one guy specifically like uh, Hawaii was doing to us last week. And, um, you know, we, we've seen basically everything that you can uh, see as an offense. Defenses have tried almost everything there is in the handbook. Um, we've seen it all at this point, so we're not really going to be surprised by anything moving forward. Just talk about uh, getting a chance now, Carson, to, to play for an opportunity at a Mountain West Championship game. I know that has to mean a lot to everyone in this locker room. No doubt. It's what our goal has been this entire time. And, you know, just to be in this spot, to have this opportunity next week, it means everything. And, you know, I just pray to God that, you know, we get the most out of this opportunity next week and we leave it all on the field. Yeah, so earlier in the game, you know, we have like hand signals, like I can give guys certain routes. And, you know, I tried giving Tori a signal in the game, which earlier was like a, a stop route. And that corner jumped it because he had seen me give him the signal before. So we came to the sideline and said, hey, I'm going to give you that signal again, but this time run a stutter and go. And the corner bit and, you know, he was wide open, worked to perfection, really. So it was a great job just understanding that they had caught our signals and using it against them. Yeah, I mean, we're doing we're doing all right, but our potential is so much better than this. We can be so much better. I mean, just looking at the stat sheet, we left so many yards on the field, so many touchdowns. I mean, Tory would have had an easy fourth touchdown if I would have just um, you know put some touch on the ball instead of firing it on that uh, last pick that I threw, and just. You know, just mistakes that we made throughout the game, and we can play a lot better than what we've been playing. And you know, hopefully next week we can give it our all and play our best game. I know you couldn't be, you know, you've been holding yourself with some of the mistakes, but overall this game needed to be under center to really you know, go back and forth with a high octane Fresno State offense, and you ran to the ball in so many ways, season high five touchdowns, another game over 300 yards. You're at least with you and your to yeah, dis despite how many plays we left on the field tonight, the fact that, you know, we still won the game is it's a good thing. You know, we're a good team because even if we don't have our best game, even if we have a poor game, we can still win. And, you know, when, when we were going into the fourth quarter, we just brought it up and we were like, despite everything that's happened this game, despite all the mistakes, let's just lock in and do whatever it takes to win the football game. And, you know, just coming out with the win, we needed it. We needed to get this win so we had a chance next week. And, you know, that's all you can ask for is the opportunity to play in the championship game. So we're all really excited for next week. And, you know, I can't wait to play. For Sam. All right, Sam, how crazy was that one tonight? Yeah, that was a fun one. Um, but that's what we look for in a game when we play Fresno. Um, they're always a tough opponent, and uh, they're always bringing strength out of the, the Central Valley, and, and we know what we're, what we're looking for. And we had a good week of practice to prepare for it. So I'm, uh, I'm stoked for the results. You know, uh, second half, you guys came up with so many big defensive stands on third and fourth down. Uh, what do you think it was that you, know, you guys were able to do just to have that kind of juice to finish the game like that? Yeah, um, I mean, I think as history shows, we're more of a second half team. And um, we always come together in the second half. And uh, yeah, just the adjustments we make at halftime and, and the way we get into the flow of the game, um, I feel like that's, that's kind of where we get the edge. We really pay attention and we communicate really well.
What did it mean to get Don Peterson back out there on the field and his impact on the line? Yeah, he's a he's a huge uh, force on the D line, of course, and and just having his presence out there uh, makes a huge difference, and uh, that that definitely helped our our um, our second half push as well. Of course, Dom did. Uh, Coach mentioned the fact that you guys were able to go undefeated at home this year, and, and you know, being your senior season. You know, what did it mean to you if this is your last game at Mackey Stadium? You know, what did it mean to you to be able to, to have a win like that? Oh yeah, going undefeated at home is a is a huge deal. You know, this is this is where we hold our pride. This is where we know how to win, and uh, the fact that we we did just that is super exciting, and and shows that we know how to win games, and we've we've come a long way. And then uh, now you guys get a chance to, to play for a spot in the Mountain West Championship game. You know, to, to be here now in this position for this team, what, what does that kind of mean to this locker room? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm smiling under the mask, but um, it's, it's a huge deal that we're getting the chance just to just be able to play and, and be in this position. Right after the game, Coach Norbell mentioned we've been working four years to, to get to this spot, and that's all I need. I can't wait to get back to practice. Sorry, I couldn't hear you on that one. Oh, no worries. Coach, Coach Norville okay. mentioned and credited the defense's resiliency throughout this whole year and you being on the field and seeing that process unfold. Is that something we take pride in? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We work really hard, and, uh, and the way I kind of look at it is if we lose, that's – that's the same as if we didn't prepare as hard as we did for that week. You know, the the end result is a is a is a loss, and it's it's a huge deal to win, and and really that's the the fruit of our efforts there, and um, that's why we place such a uh, a high standard on ourselves, and um, yeah, we just we work really hard and we play to win, and it's it's great when you can do just that. Defensively, Nevada, as mentioned, just made some key plays to stop Nevada, uh, to stop Fresno State's high power offense in so many ways. And special teams and defensively, you were happy to see some of those adjustments being made in the second half. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Special teams came up huge. And um, it's good to see um, the evolution of, of our special teams and how much uh, guys are buying into the culture of it. And um, yeah, just defensive stops. Uh, those always feel super good when, when you can take hold of an offense and you can t anticipate what's coming next. And and you're just in that flow of the game where you can you you can turn it all off and just play. Yeah, heading into next week against yet another high-powered offense in San Jose State. What's the feeling like in the locker room? And do you think defensively this team's prepared to really go up against another really high-octane, high-movement offense this year? Yeah, um, this should be a great matchup. I'm excited to to be able to be a part of it, and I know that my guys and in this defense are going to bring it next week, and and that's all that I'm concerned about, and that's all that that we can control. Awesome. Thanks so much, Sam. Appreciate you. Yep, of course. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Yep, absolutely.